Let's make vellerika pulisheri or vellerika mori curry which is mango cucumber in a coconut and curd based gravy. Hello everybody, I'm Reshmi and welcome to Kitchen Compass. Here I've taken one vellerika or the mango cucumber. I'm taking just a small portion of a medium sized vellerika. I have removed the skin as well as the seeds and the pulp part and cut into small pieces like this. I'm transferring these pieces into a clay pot. This is 150 grams of cleaned valerica. Into this, I'm adding 1 fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of pepper powder, and about half teaspoon of salt. Instead of pepper powder, you can also slit and add a green chili. Add about 3 fourth cup of water and cook it until the cucumber pieces are translucent. The water has come to a boil. Now reduce the flame and cook on a medium low flame for about 8 to 10 minutes or until the pieces are cooked. In the meanwhile, let's prepare the coconut and the curd base. For this, I have taken half cup of grated coconut, 1 fourth teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 clove of garlic and 2 green chilies. Garlic is optional and you can adjust the green chilies as per your taste. Transfer these ingredients into a mixer jar. We have to grind this to a smooth paste. Here I have taken 1 cup of medium sour homemade curd. As per the consistency you require for the curry, you can add more curd if needed. You can either add water to grind or use the curd. Here I am grinding it along with the curd. So for this, I am adding in curd as required to grind the coconut into a smooth paste. Transfer this to a bowl. Pulse the remaining curd in the mixi to remove the lumps. Add it to the bowl. Later on, depending on the curry consistency, we can add more curd if needed. The cucumber pieces have been cooking for about 8 to 10 minutes. The veladika pieces have turned translucent. I can cut through them with a spoon which means it has cooked well enough. With the flame on low, add in the curd and coconut paste mix and stir well. Add about 1 fourth cup of water to the bowl and add it to the curry. Simmer and stir continuously for 3 to 4 minutes until the raw smell of the coconut paste and the chilies are gone. Stirring continuously prevents the curd from curdling. Make sure to keep the flame at the lowest. At this stage, check for salt. I'm adding a little more salt. If you want to have a thinner consistency, pulse a little more curd in the mixi and add it to the curry. Medium sour curd is best suited for this curry. If the curd is too sour, at this stage add a little sugar to balance the sourness. I have been simmering and stirring the curry for 3 to 4 minutes now. You can see there is a good steam and the curry is just beginning to boil. At this stage turn off the flame and continue stirring for a few more minutes. Now let's do the tempering. For this heat a pan and add 2 tablespoons of coconut oil. Once the oil is hot, add in 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds. You can also add 1 fourth teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. As the mustard seeds crackle, add in 2 sliced shallots, 2 dried chilies and saute until the shallots turn golden. Add in a few curry leaves. Turn off the flame. If you do not want to add shallots, you may skip it. If not, adding the fenugreek seeds, add 1 fourth teaspoon of roasted fenugreek powder. Now 
optionally for the color add 1 4 teaspoon of chili powder transfer the tempering into the curry cover and set it aside for 10 minutes mix well before serving set this curry aside for half an hour to an hour before serving for the flavors to balance do try this recipe and thanks for watching